Okay guys and welcome to a new vlog. I'm making a vlog about the supermarkets here in Nairobi, Kenya. And I am really impressed with the supermarkets. I must uh, confess that I only go to the supermarkets in like the shopping malls. So they are always of better quality but still let me show you uh, something interesting that I saw when we're gonna compare some of these sodas so you have this one it's called like club uh, lemon and lime and I actually tasted this the other day and it tastes like exactly exactly the same as Sprite like this is exactly the same and you have here pretty much for every brand you have like the cheaper version so here you see the club which is like Fanta so this one is 55 this one is 69 so there is a little difference it's not a very big difference but you do see the differences and let me see there was also one oh yeah and there were also one with the cola so here you will see like the club uh, variant of the coca-cola and then next to it you have the coca-colas and so let's compare this is like 115 this one is 115 and this is 128 so they are like little uh, differences yeah these differences are not very very huge they are not uh, like impacting your whole income but i think they have like a lot of products that is like a little bit of a cheaper version I, I don't even look if it's from Kenya, maybe it's from Kenya, maybe it's from a uh, different Kenya, uh, African country. And let me say that uh, overall, I really am impressed with the supermarkets that they have here in uh, the shopping malls. And this one is, I think, one of the biggest one. Uh, this is in uh, Westgate uh, shopping mall. So this is actually like one of the biggest, one of the best. But even when I go like to the Yaya Center, it, that one is uh, much smaller compared to this one but the quality of the supermarket is still very high and you can get like basically everything that you that you need and that you want so yeah if I uh, if you want my take on it like the supermarkets here in Nairobi Kenya I really think you cannot go wrong with them they have like everything you want different brands you have also a lot of brands from Europe a lot of brands from America maybe also uh, yeah so if you're scared that you cannot get your goods here don't be it's very good and I can recommend it for sure Okay, so that's a funny name for a cookie, Ginger Nuts. Okay guys, as you can see I'm again uh, busy with my supermarket, supermarket uh, fascination in Kenya. So I told you guys I only been to the supermarkets and shopping malls and I said to you they will be like high class. Yeah, I got a little bit busy there, but what I wanted to say, now I'm actually in a supermarket that is not in a shopping mall, so it's like a normal supermarket uh, in the streets of Nairobi, and even these ones are like really, really good. I mean, let me show you guys, look at how many chips they have got, there are like so many brands, so many different ones, and this is not even like a high class supermarket somewhere in a shopping mall that is like made for tourists or something like that but also here you can see that a lot of these brands they really remind me of the brands <laughs> from, from uh, Europe and America so this really looks like the Pringles uh, ones I will see for you guys do I actually see like the Pringles or Lace oh I actually meant it Lace I think yeah the Lace logo with all the flavors are almost the same so let me see do they actually have Lace in this supermarket then we can maybe see the difference in price no I don't see any lace but I do see the Pringles the Pringles one I can see them and as you can see they are not very very cheap so you must divide this by around 170 to get the euro price so I think they are maybe like three euros is that correct I don't know 
I think they are around three euro. So this is actually the price that I pay in the Netherlands, maybe even a little bit more. Ah, and this one is maybe like the cheaper version of it. Yeah, but actually the Pringles one, so this is actually what I see with a lot of these uh, European brands and the American brands, they're actually pretty expensive here. I mean, it's kind of logical because you need to get them all the way from there or are they produced let's see I actually don't know are they produced here in made in see the top of the can let me see where is it produced guys top Kuntno mm. Kutno okay so they are actually produced well the name sounds African so I think these are actually produced somewhere in Africa I'm not very good with these names well it says Kuntno Vishodnia Kuntno okay guys I know you are much smarter than me I think the people in the comments can say where that lies I think that's not Kenyan but I do think it's African not that I know all the cities in uh, in so yeah that is uh, another little uh, supermarket tour I mean you really can get everything you want here I really enjoy uh, shopping in the supermarkets in Kenya so before this I only showed you the uh, supermarkets in the shopping malls this is actually a normal supermarket in a normal neighborhood and you can see the quality is actually good uh, there's a lot of a lot of variety you have all the brands that you want from Europe and America but you also have a lot of but you also have a lot of local ones that I never heard of so I think this is maybe like African brands so I said it already in my last videos that the supermarkets here are really top-notch now I'm not in a shopping mall so also the normal supermarkets where the people come are also top-notch welcome 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 back and I have now <clears throat> I have done some grocery shopping I already made a video to show how I uh, went shopping uh, for the first time in Nairobi in Kenya and I already said in my first video I was really like impressed uh, with the supermarket that I saw that time and I've been to many supermarkets uh, after that and I can really say that I really like uh, the quality of the supermarkets in Nairobi and let me put it <clears throat> in the right way uh, I mostly visit them in shopping malls so the shopping malls uh, they are like made kind of for for to, touristic people of course there are many Kenyans they're also doing their shopping but in the shopping malls you actually see like the white people and the tourists and all of that you know so the supermarkets there they are really high class and I really enjoy them so what I did today I did some grocery shopping and I will uh, look with you and I will ask you at the end of the video was it worth it yes or no so what did i get let me show you guys so i got two red mangoes no this, these are the uh, red mangoes this is also red mango this is like a little bit green one so i got four mangoes um i got uh, shampoo and this was like a little bit expensive so the shampoos in kenya are not very uh, very cheap and I also got something like uh, for my uh, mouth to uh, have a fresh, uh, fresh uh, <laughs> teeth and stuff like that. And as you can see, this is a European brand. So this one also ticked a little bit uh, the price higher. There were also like Kenyan brands, uh, which said like it was made in Kenya, Nairobi. But yeah, for me, I don't know. I, I, I trust more like in the Oral-B brand. This is like, I think this is German brand and it says also at the end uh, back, it says somewhere here. Yeah, made in Germany. So, yeah, I hope that means made in Germany. Uh, yeah. So that ticked a little bit of the price. I got a nice uh, uh, yogurt drink. I will enjoy that a lot. And I have a piece of a watermelon. So this one was actually very cheap. As if you can see, 177, that's actually maybe like one euro. I think that's like exactly one euro uh, it's maybe like one dollar ten I think that one and the mangoes how, how much were the mangoes let me see the mangoes were 340 so this is 
340 is like 2 euro. So this also means like 1 euro, 1 euro, 1 euro. And the total was, let us see, the total was, make it clear, yeah, 16, around 1600 chilling. So 1600 chilling, that is like 9 euro and maybe 5 cents. Uh, at the current rate, uh, if you do it in dollars, maybe it's like nine dollars uh, uh, twenty-five, maybe uh, thirty, thirty-five, something like that. So around nine dollars, around nine euros. And I think like with the fruits, especially with the mangoes, uh, you can also buy them on the streets. There are like a lot of uh, people like selling it on the streets. So the price there is much cheaper. But uh, I didn't have any cash with me. I only had my Mpesa card and. I'm not sure I can pay at this like little stalls that are like outside. I know for sure if I paid like like uh, 350 for the mangoes, for two mangoes, I think there it will be at least three, four times cheaper for sure. So yeah, that is the price. Let me know in your country. Do you think do you think this was a good deal for nine euro, or do you do you say that is like not a good price at all? And let me remind you for one more time, I did this in a pretty pretty expensive shopping mall, the Yaya Center. There I actually see a lot of white people. So and maybe these are like a little bit more expensive than the normal supermarkets. Uh, so yeah, that is my thoughts. Give your feedback. Is this a good deal or am I being ripped off even in Nairobi? <laughs>